Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to Nine Crafts. So if you can't tell what started already guys, today I'm going to be doing the Spin the Wheel Fidget Edition. Um, so yeah, I did part one to this, which was the paper squishy version. I'll be sure to link that down below in the description box if you guys didn't watch it already. Um, so yeah, but anyways, so for those of you who don't know how spin the wheel works, um, it used to be popular a lot. Um, people still do do it, but basically how this works is, well, it's pretty self-explanatory. You spin the wheel and then whatever you land on, that's what you're going to have to do. But in this case, I'm going to be making whatever I land on. So, as you guys can see, I landed on Slinky, so if I were to land on that on my actual spin, then that's what I'm going to be making. Um, so yeah, anyways, let's get right into the spin. Alright guys, so let's get on to the spin. I'm hoping you land on this one, so let's spin it. Oh, <gasps> I know you're lying. OMG, that was the perfect spin, guys. Look what I got. So, I'm gonna just turn it, and it says Fidget Keychain. Um, so yeah. So I'm going to um, see so yeah, a fidget keychain. That's not like an actual fidget. It's basically just a bunch of fidgets. Well, pretty self explanatory on a keychain. So I'm going to be telling you guys which fidgets and things like that I'm going to be doing. So yeah. All right, guys. So right next to the spinning wheel, I have this ratchet vending machine. Don't mind. Um, I made this last year. Um, like early last year. So it's not my best work. But as you guys can see, we have some keychains. Um, here and there. Um, I might have a tutorial coming out next month on like DIY keychains um, for those of you who want to learn how to make it. But I'm going to go ahead and spin this and then see what keychain I get. But first, well, of course, we have to pay. Alrighty guys, so I got my quarter here. So now let's just go ahead and slide it in. And as you guys can see, it just went in. So now I can go ahead and turn. Sounds like something fell down. So now let's see what I got. Whoa, I got two keychains. Let's see. Oh, I got this adorable little waffle. It's really cute. And to go with it, I have a little syrup. So yeah, and the syrup. And the waffle actually has syrup on it. So this is a cute little um like thing. One is squishy and then one is like an actual hard base. So yeah, we got our first part of our fidget keychain done. So let's get into the others. so you will be needing some beads um i just have these beads you can use any type of beads in any size and then you will be needing some rubber bands so yeah that is pretty much all you will be needing so let me just quickly show you guys how to make this so it's basically like a bead roller um like on a rubber band so let me give you guys a quick example of what i'm talking so about so it's basically something like this it's like yeah, you basically just like fidget with it with your hands, I guess, um, to like just keep your hands moving, but also not distracting because it really isn't that loud. It's just like little clicks. Um, so yeah, and this is also great for like class to like have your hands moving around without making a big distraction. So yeah, or distraction at all really. So basically how you make this is what you want to do is grab a rubber band. Guess I'm going with purple because that's the first one that I grabbed out. So, I am going to get a purple rubber band and then use whatever kind of beads you want. I'm just going to be doing purple so it matches. And then you just place it inside inside the rubber band like that. Um, hopefully it focuses. Um, okay, there we go. So, it should look a little something like that. And then what you want to do... What you want to do is just go ahead and make this for the other two of course you're going to be doing more beads than just these but i could just want to show you guys how you're going to put it together so yeah Alrighty, guys so now that you are all done um of course you should have more beads on your table at the most i like recommend like 14 finger like this first sorry about the cars in the background and then Put it on the same way you did the first one, like that. So it's basically like making a rubber band bracelet, except with beads on them. So then you take 
this one cross it over like that take the other one on your finger and cross it like that and then you should have something that looks like this as you guys can see so it's basically like making a rubber band bracelet except just one extra step by adding the beads inside so you hopefully focus this cross over like that cross over like that make sure they aren't crossing over each other like by the bead or it's going to turn out a little weird so yeah i'll see you guys once this is um at like 14 beads done creating it um like i said i ended up using about 14 which is a good length um so yeah but now for those of you wondering how we're going to tie this off basically you want to leave like a little like a little extra rubber band thingy um for when you knot it so you can um attach it to your keychain and hang it so what you want to do is take this one cross it over just like that Oop. take these two so this is like the easier way i do know how to knot it the other way but sometimes um i forget so basically this is the easiest way that i do it so just take both of these just like that take another rubber band of that color and you want to have something that looks like this you want to be very careful at this part go ahead and take this um i'll zoom it in a little bit for you guys but take this like here Stretch it out like this and make sure it's over this loop like that. It's very confusing, but yeah. And then you just want to go ahead and pull and then you created your knot and you also tied off this. So won't no beads be falling. And the best thing about this is this one is waterproof. Um, so yeah. And then this is how it turned out. You could just like pretty much roll the beads. You can stretch them out and all of that. And then it has a little keychain thingy where you can attach the keychain. Alrighty guys, and for the last one here, we are at my fidget drawer. Um, it's not really organized, but yeah, don't mind. But anyways, so we're going to be going to our mini poppets. You can also get a simple dimple for this. Um, and this is the last part to our DIY keychain. So now it's just time to go ahead and grab one. Um, I don't want one with that like big of a distraction. Um, this one has a little thing i can attach it to a keychain so this is most definitely an option um hmm, let's see we also have this simple dimple so that's also an option let's look at my poppets that have keychains um no guys i think i need to make more poppets with keychains on them um so yeah we have this like clear poppet not really the best looking but we'll just see um, and we also have this triple dimple. So let's go ahead and choose which one we want. Alrighty guys, so as you guys can see, I have chosen the triple dimple. It was like the cleanest one out of the four. And it also has like the most poppets. Well, besides the actual poppet. Um, but yeah, so basically for me, my DIY poppet, I mean fidget keychain is basically some, well, keychains. And then just two fidgets. So yeah, I don't like to have a lot on my keychain. So now we'll just go ahead and get a keychain and attach all of these on here. Alrighty guys, so I have found my keychain. So now we're just going to go ahead and attach um, all of these onto here. Anyways, so this is how it turned out. Guys, I love it so much. It looks so cute. Um, So yeah, but now I'm going to go ahead and put this on my bag and show you guys how it will look on a bag. Alrighty guys, so this is how it will look on a purse. Okay, so that's how it turned out. Um, I know I only did like one of the three crafts, um, but I just didn't want to make this video super long because if I did have to do the keychain, um, specifically this one, because you guys know how to make a paper squishy, 
Um, this keychain is literally just a mini paper squishy with a string on it. But this one is a lot more complicated. Well, not really, but it's kind of, and it takes longer. So, yeah, but anyways, that was pretty much it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And subscribe and hit that notification bell if you don't already. Anyways, that was all for today's video. See you next time. Peace out.